Hey, welcome to this radio channel and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about HDSDR and the Soft 66 uh, software defined radio. And when you use it, there's a few more settings that you need to know and we'll go through the th different settings slowly. So we're going to talk about AGC settings or AGC means automatic gain control. This is basically an automatic adjustment of the signal uh, as it's received. You know, on shortwave signals tend to go up and down, and the automatic gain control is there to kind of make it more uniform, so that you don't have, you know, to increase the volume. For example, if signal goes down, and you don't have to decrease the volume if signal goes up. So when you're listening to a signal on shortwave. So we're going to start it here. So here goes. When you are actually listening to a signal like right now, you have the information of, okay, the S meter here, you have your waterfall in the top, you have the information about the audio on the right, but you can actually change the AGC. So first of all, you've got settings for the automatic AGC. If you click the IO or the EXTIO button right to the uh, on the right side of the frequency. Here you have different AGCs. You've got tuner AGC and RTL AGC. Tuner, so if, if basically if you just remove the check marks, you'll see that things tend to be a little weaker. Why? Because now we've removed the automatic gain control off the circuit. So you could you can still play with you know the thresholds here and try to get um, an AGC that you like but the problem is if you turn it off when the signal drops or signal goes up you'll see that the sound level also will drop or go up you have the possibility to use the tuner AGC which is directly on the tuning circuit of the soft 66 you also have what's called the RTL EJC, which is the tuning that's on the RTL chip of the Soft 66. The important thing here is to play with these settings. Check out which one will give you the better results as you are listening to signals. Also make sure that you don't pump the AGC too much. Now notice that AGC is important, but it's got to be well used. So start by playing with the tuner and RTL AGC. And check out also your AGC threshold that you can manually set here, on depending on what you do. Another information that's useful about the AGC, or automatic gain control, is that you have settings for fast, medium, slow and off and you'll see there are major differences so to actually tweak your device your soft 66 play with these settings depending on what you're listening um, you might want to change from fast to medium or to slow when typically would you use for example slow or fast it goes with how fast the signal is fading very fast fading signals for example I tend to leave it as slow because it removes the fact that you always hear that flutter all the time that can be annoying to the ear. So depending on the types of signals, slow, fast, for example in a sideband signal I'll often leave it slow because it takes time for the circuit to react. And so when that person that is talking in sideband stops for say one second I won't have the time to hear the harsh uh, background noise of the signal because the AGC isn't fast enough to go back down if you put it at fast well in between the words for example in a single sideband signal you'll have time to hear the static sound in the background and that could be annoying by putting it at slow AGC doesn't react fast enough to go down so you tend to not really hear the background noise and focus more on the voice. 
So these are all the different settings of AGC and you should of course check that out. AGC and the driver here, EXTIO, where you can try one or the other. Check what works best for you and see how you can uh, you know, focus on making the signals as clear and as good as possible. And of course, don't forget that you've got settings for how fast the AGC will react to what you're doing. That's for sure. If you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us a thumbs up if you like the videos. And hopefully you continue following us on this radio channel.